What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Slackers, bringing you our next matchup in the Everyone Is Here tournament. So we got so we got a good matchup today, and of course we got some results we got to go over. But uh, first, I'm gonna throw up the rules on screen in just a couple seconds. So if there's anybody new, or if I don't know if you want to read the rules again for some reason, I'll try to make it you know quicker than I usually do because I feel like I just kind of drag it out. I'm dragging it out right now. So let's throw up the rules. All right, rules are very simple. Very simple. The first one, always keep in mind this is just for fun. It does not matter for this tournament if a character is a assist trophy, if they're a spirit, if they're a me costume, if they're a boss. Doesn't matter. It's all for fun. It's just a place to show up and show a little bit of support for a character you'd like to see in Smash Bros. Ultimate as a playable character. Well, through the means of DLC. And uh, how do you show a little bit of support? Well, you vote for them if they are in the matchup that you like. Or, you know, just vote for somebody in the matchup for the day. And how do you vote? Very simple. Down in the comments, you simply type who your vote is for. So we all see the title or the thumbnail. Today's matchup is My Sure and I from the King of Fighters or Fatal Fury franchise. Taking on Skull Kid from Legend of Zelda, who, yes, is a me costume, is an assist trophy, but who cares? Does not matter. This is all for fun, all right? So, um, yeah, how do you vote? Down in the comments. Yeah, very simple. Type your answer. But remember, you only get one vote per person pretty you guys are pretty good about that but you know just always got to throw a little reminder out there but the rest of the rules it's a double elimination tournament meaning a character has to lose two times before being officially eliminated and then uh if there's ever like once we get to the results for a matchup if there's ever a tie i'll flip a coin on camera best and first way to break the tie and then uh each matchup voting wise will only last for just one week so if you're uh, vote comes in after the one week that it gets uploaded. Vote's not going to count because the results are already going to happen. So that's the rules. Let's get to the results and the matchup for the day. All right. So we got some good results to go over. So last week, uh, the results we're going over was Cuphead um, from Cuphead taking on Rex and Pyra. And it was a pretty good, uh, you know, pretty good back and forth. I liked reading the comments because uh, Rex... Rex with Pyra, Rex with Pyra and Mithra. Uh, there's quite a bit of people. I think the majority just went uh, for Rex and Pyra if they were voted in that category. A lot of people really wanted to see this character. Even though they are a me outfit, They people just didn't seem to care too much. It's like, hey, I like the character. I want to see them in. That's, that's what this whole thing's about, right? If you like a character, who cares? Throw a vote for them. doesn't matter what they are currently. You never know what Sakurai's thinking when he's going to, you know, come up with the next DLC fighter. But let's get to the results. So, um, I think, um, I, I don't think anyone will be too surprised. But Rex and Pyra ended up winning this matchup. A lot of people don't want to see them. A lot of people seem to really enjoy it. Actually, there's quite a bit of comments that said, uh, this is a really tough matchup for him. So, uh, hey, <laughs> We're going to have some tough matches. We've got 100 characters in here. So, uh, yeah, congrats to Rex and Pyro moving on to the next round of the winner's bracket. But Cuphead just drops to the loser bracket. He's not done. Just if he loses one more time, he's done. But uh, So there are the results. Rex and Pyro end up taking on Jin Kazama from the Tekken series in a few weeks' time from now. But uh, we'll get to that eventually. Let's get to the business for the day. Matchup number 16. This should be good. Making her first appearance in any of these tournaments... My sure and I from the King of Fighters franchise. Yes, King of Fighters, you know, Terry Bogard. Talk about that a little bit. But she's taking on Skull Kid, the assist trophy, the me, costume, wearing, who cares? If you like the character, you can still vote for him. Don't matter. Alright? It's all for fun. All for fun. So let me talk about Mai first. Alright? Mai is a very interesting character. Like Terry Bogard, she has a very long, rich history with gaming. Now, she may not be the most relevant, I, and I'm I'm not trying to, I don't want to sound like I'm disrespecting the character, because I'm not. She does have a great history with gaming. She's crossed over, okay, before I get to that point, uh, my sure and I, she comes from the King of Fighters franchise, among others. King of Fighters is, well, surprise, it's a fighting franchise. So, you have a ready-made moveset for the character who's coming in, who would potentially be coming into Smash Bros. Moveset, ready to go, and I'll jump into the moveset in just a little bit, how she could potentially end up kind of working out. But, uh, so, fighting game, easy to somewhat transition over into Smash Bros. Pretty simple. Uh, and, uh, back to my relevancy point, 
some people are like, yeah, she's not relevant. Actually, she she really is. Um, the the whole SNK company is still pretty relevant. Uh, we had King of Fighters 14 in 2016, I believe. And there is a new King of Fighters that is coming out. I think it's slated for 2020. I think actually early 2020, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. It's I think it's slated for next year at least, so... The, the franchise still lives on. It's uh, it's still out there. And uh, a lot of people might get uh, some more eyes on it because of the whole Terry Bogard situation. But um, back to my here. Specifically this. This photo right here. Where is this taken from? Dead or Alive fighting franchise. She's crossed over into another fighting franchise. I mean, look. And Dead or Alive 6 came out earlier this year. So it's not like she's just some irrelevant character forgotten from the past no she's still around she makes guest appearances in other games and i think um more than likely though for my opinion on my i think she would make actually pretty pretty interesting fighter but i really don't think snk is going to get a second rep i personally i just i don't believe that but if it happens i'm okay my I mean, she's almost considered uh, actually by quite a few people she's kind of considered one of the faces of the not just SNK, but uh, uh, the uh, the King of Fighters franchise. She's kind of considered one of the faces. So, uh, very popular. But, again, I, I don't quite see, you know, that franchise getting... I don't see them get... Whoa, hello. <laughs> I don't see them quite getting two reps. But if it happens, I'm okay with it. So, moveset, um, fighting franchise. So, of course, t uh, traditional punches and kicks. She does have this uh, the fan weapon that she could end up throwing around. I believe she can also create, like fire so you can use that for sort of projectile attacks would be pretty cool so you got like another uh another fighting character projectiles so you don't have to rely on the up close me melee uh you know in your face sort of style which uh, again that would be you know her strength kind of maybe a bit more of an aggressive uh style of a character but again if you need to you know hit somebody with a little bit of a ranged attack she has options for that um of course her fan blade I believe doesn't she have a, a felk no that's not Karuru. never mind never mind <laughs> wrong character wrong character but uh, she got a fan blade could throw it create fire you know a little bit of fireballs here and there something whatever i mean look all around pretty nice character great character still recognizable still recognizable good name to her and uh i just think though if she gets into smash bros I think she'll end up being a spirit more than likely when Terry Bogard comes in uh, in November. I think that's when she'll end up making her, I guess, first official appearance in Smash Bros. I think she'll be a part of the DLC spirits, so that's just my personal belief. But you never know what happens. Uh, stranger things have happened to Smash. And maybe we get even stranger things to happen down the road. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, all in all, I think she'd be a very fun character. But another fun character, Skull Kid. I want to see this character. I love this character. Legend of Zelda, I always say this, but I I believe it. And there's so many people in the comments that always kind of reiterate what I say and they feel the same way. Legend of Zelda needs a new face to represent the franchise in Smash Bros. I don't need a 10th Link. I don't need a Toon Zelda. I don't need a Toon Sheik. I don't need a Toon Ganondorf. No. Give me somebody new. Give me Skull Kid. Give me a Tingle. Give me... Give me a Tingle. Ah, that sounded... Give me Tingle. Give me Skull Kid. Give me Impa. Give me... Give me somebody. It's just different. Let's mix it up a little bit here, alright? And Skull Kid is perfect. Got all sort of voodoo magic that uh, you got for... Would, uh, that would make a very interesting moveset. He's a fan favorite character. He's been uh, requested for quite a while. Um, I mean, like... There's a reason he did get an assist trophy in the first place. Fans wanted to see him. I think Sakurai and Nintendo and his team, they, you know, that's how they acknowledged it at first. They're like, all right, fans like this character. At least put him in the game. We'll give him, you know, a, uh, a me outfit. We'll give him the assist trophy. He's got his own spirit. And uh, if I do say so, the me outfit is probably one of my favorite for over the, like, very well designed. I mean, look, Sans is definitely up there. But in terms of very well designed costumes, this one's awesome. This one just, like, looks great. Looks great. So, I mean, look, again, the character's popular. Legend of Zelda just has a series to Nintendo. S such a huge franchise, right? And if you honestly break it down, they have four reps. 
they have four reps. We have three links who's, I mean, look, they're, they're still, it's still link, all right? Maybe slightly different iteration, but it's still one link, all right? Same way that Mario and Dr. Mario, it's still, they might play a tiny bit differently, but it's still Mario, essentially. But Link, you have you have Link, Zelda, Sheik, Ganondorf. How do we only have four different characters? That I just think uh, that's so weird. And you know, with Breath of the Wild having such a huge success on the Switch, and you know, Breath of the Wild two in development, I j like come on, uh, but let's. It's about time. Just give us somebody new, right? I, I know a lot of people are gonna say this as well, but it's true. That's what we believe, and that's what we want. Whether you want Skull Kid or not, I, there's a lot of Legend of Zelda fans that want a new character, and it'd be completely fine. I, you know, it, as long as, it, okay, that's another point. First party character, right? Nintendo gets all the profits for themselves, so company they win on that one. Fans get a character that they've been asking for for quite a while. Skull Kid was heavily speculated on the lead up to uh, the release of Smash Ultimate last year. Ultimately, it didn't happen, but hey, still. Fans still want them. Fans still want them. I want them. Uh, for this one, my vote is simple. Skull Kid has been on my list of wants for probably around Brawl. Probably around Brawl. And it's just kind of kept rising up my list, you know, with more confirmations of characters or disconfirmation of characters, you know, over the years. But anyway, Skull Kid, I would love to see. Gets my vote in this one. Very simple. Very easy. So, uh, yeah, let me know who you guys got down in the comments. You're going to go with my sure and I. Or are you going to go with Skull Kid? Or you could go with both again. Both is always an option. Totally fine. That is going to be it for this one. So, um, little sneak peek for tomorrow. Alright, that should be... That should be... Hmm, okay. That should be an interesting sort of matchup we got. Travis Touchdown. <laughs> Travis Touchdown. Yeah, he could be... Uh, he might be uh, considered again. I'll talk about that tomorrow. But Travis Touchdown taking on Sub-Zero for Mortal Kombat. And we'll talk about the whole Mortal Kombat Japan thing. It's not banned in Japan. It's just not sold there. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But that's the matchup. And then the results for tomorrow. We will get from Morgan from Darkstalkers. And she's taking on Earthworm Jim. So we'll see who gets their first official win in this tournament. Because their first, uh, both of those characters, it was their first appearance. So we'll see how that one plays out. But that is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.